The cinema of India, colloquially known as Indiewood consists of films produced in the nation of India. Cinema is immensely popular in India, with as many as 1,600 films produced in various languages every year. Indian cinema produces more films watched by more people than any other country. In 2011, over 3.5 billion tickets were sold across the globe, 900,000 more than Hollywood. As of 2013, India ranked first in terms of annual film output, followed by Nigeria, Hollywood, and China. In 2012, India produced 1,602 feature films. The Indian film industry reached overall revenues of 1.86 billion dollars, 93 billion rupees in 2011. In 2015, India had a total box office gross of 2.1 billion dollars, third largest in the world. Indian cinema is a global enterprise. Its films have a following throughout Southern Asia and across Asia, Europe, the greater Middle East, North America, Eastern Africa, China and elsewhere, reaching in over 90 countries. Biopics including Dangle became transnational blockbusters grossing over $300 million worldwide. Global enterprises such as 20th Century Fox, Sony Pictures, Walt Disney Pictures and Warner Brothers invested in the industry along with Indian enterprises such as AVM Productions, Prasad's Group, Sun Pictures, PVP Cinemas, Z, UTV, Suresh Productions, Eros Films, Eingern International, Pyramid Samira, Oscar Films and AdLabs. By 2003 as many as 30 film production companies had been listed in the National Stock Exchange of India, the overall revenue of Indian cinema reached $1.3 billion in 2000. The industry is segmented by language. The Hindi language film industry is known as Bollywood, the largest sector, representing 43% of box office revenue. Combined Tamil and Telugu film industries revenues represent 36%. The South Indian film industry encompasses five film cultures, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, Kannada and Tulu. Millions of Indians overseas watch Indian films, accounting for some 12% of revenues. Music rights alone account for 4-5% of net revenues. History the history of cinema in India extends back to the beginning of the film era. The Indian film industry is the second oldest in the world. Following the screening of the Lumiere and Robert Paul moving pictures in London 1896, animated photography became a worldwide sensation and by mid-1896 both Lumiere and Robert Paul films had been shown in Bombay. Topic. Silent films 1910s to 1920s. Topic. In 1897 a film presentation by one Professor Stevenson featured a stage show at Calcutta's Star Theatre. With Stevenson's encouragement and camera Hiralal Sen, an Indian photographer, made a film of scenes from that show, namely The Flower of Persia 1898. The Wrestlers 1899 by H. S. Bottabdecker, showing a wrestling match at the Hanging Gardens in Bombay, was the first film to be shot by an Indian and the first Indian documentary film. The first Indian film released in India was Shri Pundalik, a silent film in Marathi by Dadasaheb Torna on 18 May 1912 at Coronation Cinematograph, Bombay. Some have argued that Pundalik was not the first Indian film, because it was a photographic recording of a play, and because the cameraman was a British man named Johnson and the film was processed in London. The first full-length motion picture in India was produced by Dadasaheb Phalke. Phalke is seen as the pioneer of the Indian film industry and a scholar of India's languages and culture. He employed elements from Sanskrit epics to produce his Raja Harish Chandra 1913, a silent film in Marathi. The female characters in the film were played by male actors. Only one print of the film was made, for showing at the Coronation Cinematograph on 3 May 1913. It was a commercial success. The first silent film in Tamil, Kichaka Vadam was made by R. Nataraja Mudalir in 1916. The first chain of Indian cinemas, Maiden Theatre was owned by Parsi entrepreneur Jamshedji Framji Maiden, who oversaw production of ten films annually and distributed them throughout India beginning in 1902. He founded Elphinstone Bioscope Company in Calcutta. Elphinstone merged into Maiden Theatres Limited in 1919, which had brought many of Bengal most popular literary works to the stage. 
He also produced Satyawadi Raja Harish Chandra in 1917, a remake of Phalk. S. Raja Harish Chandra. Raghupathi Venkaya Naidu was an Indian artist and a film pioneer. From 1909, he was involved in many aspects of Indian cinema, travelling across Asia. He was the first to build and own cinemas in Madras. He was credited as the father of Telugu cinema. In South India, the first Tamil Taki Kalidas was released on 31 October 1931. Nataraja Mudalir established South India. S. first film studio in Madras. Films steadily gained popularity across India. Tickets were affordable to the masses, as low as an anna, one sixteenth of a rupee, in Bombay, with additional comforts available at a higher price. Young producers began to incorporate elements of Indian social life and culture into cinema. Others brought ideas from across the world. Global audiences and markets soon became aware of India. S. Film industry. In 1927, the British government, to promote the market in India for British films over American ones, formed the Indian Cinematograph Enquiry Committee. The ICC consisted of three Brits and three Indians, led by T. Rangachari, a Madras lawyer. This committee failed to support the desired recommendations of supporting British film, instead, recommending support for the fledgling Indian film industry. Their suggestions were shelved. Topic. Takis 1930s mid -1940s. Topic. Ardashir Irani released Alam Era, the first Indian Taki, on 14 March 1931. Irani later produced the first South Indian Taki film Kalidas directed by H. M. Reddy released on 31 October 1931. Jumai Shasthi was the first Bengali Taki. Chitter V. Nagaya, was one of the first multilingual film actor, singer, composer, producer, directors in India. He was known as India's Paul Muni. In 1932, the name Tollywood was coined for the Bengali film industry because Tollygunj rhymed with Hollywood. Tollygunj was then the centre of the Indian film industry. Bombay later overtook Tollygunj as the industry's centre, spawning Bollywood and many other hollywood inspired names in 1933 east india film company produced its first telugu film savitri based on a stage play by mylavaram bala bharati samajam the film was directed by c pulaya with stage actors vimuri gagaya and dasari ramathilakam the film received an honorary diploma at the second venice international film festival on the 10th of march 1935 another pioneer filmmaker jodi prasad argawala made his first film joy moti in assamese jodi prasad went to berlin to learn more about films indramalati is another film he himself produced and directed after joy moti the first film studio in South India, Durga Sinatone was built in 1936 by Nidamarthi Saraya in Rajamundri, Andhra Pradesh. The 1930s saw the rise of music in Indian cinema with musicals such as Indra Sabha and Devi Deviani marking the beginning of song and dance in Indian films. Studios emerged by 1935 in major cities such as Madras, Calcutta and Bombay as filmmaking became an established craft, exemplified by the success of Devdas, directed by an Assamese filmmaker Pramathesh Barua. In 1937, Kizan Kanhia directed by Modi B was released, the first colour film made in India. The 1940 film, Vishwa Mahini, is the first Indian film to depict the Indian movie world. The film was directed by Y. V. Rao and scripted by Balajepali Lakshmikanta Kavi. Swamikanu Vincent, who had built the first cinema of South India in Coimbatore, introduced the concept of tent cinema, in which a tent was erected on a stretch of open land to screen films. The first of its kind was in Madras, called Edison's Grand Cinema Megaphone. This was due to the fact that electric carbons were used for motion picture projectors. Bombay Takis opened in 1934 and Prabhat Studios in Pune began production of Marathi films meant. R.S.D. Choudhury produced Rath 1930, which was banned by the British Raj for its depiction of Indian actors as leaders during the Indian independence movement. San Tukaram, a 1936 film based on the life of Tukaram a Varkari San and spiritual poet became the first Indian film to be screened at an international film festival, at the 1937 edition of the Venice Film Festival. 
The film was judged one of the three best films of the year. In 1938, Gudevali Ramabrahmam, co-produced and directed the social problem film, Raithu Bitta, which was also banned by the British administration, for depicting the peasant uprising among the Zamindars during the British Raj. The Indian Masala film, a term used for mixed genre films that combined song, dance, romance etc. arose following World War II. During the 1940s cinema in South India accounted for nearly half of India's cinema halls and cinema came to be viewed as an instrument of cultural revival. The partition of India following independence divided the nation's assets and a number of studios moved to Pakistan. Partition became an enduring film subject thereafter. After Indian independence, the film industry was investigated by the S. K. Patil Commission. Patil recommended setting up a Film Finance Corporation (FFC) under the Ministry of Finance. This advice was adopted in 1960, and FFC provide financial support to filmmakers. The Indian government had established a films division by 1948, which eventually became one of the world's largest documentary film producers with an annual production of over 200 short documentaries, each released in 18 languages with 9,000 prints for permanent film theatres across the country. The Indian People's Theatre Association, IPTA, an art movement with a communist inclination, began to take shape through the 1940s and the 1950s. Realist IPTA plays, such as Nibbana 1944, Bijan Bhattacharya prepared the ground for realism in Indian cinema, exemplified by Khwaja Ahmad Abbas's Dardi K. Lal in 1946. The IPTA movement continued to emphasize realism and went on to produce Mother India and Piyasa, among India's most recognizable cinematic productions. Golden Age late 1940s to 1960s Topic The period from the late 1940s to the early 1960s is regarded by film historians as the golden age of Indian cinema This period saw the emergence of the parallel cinema movement mainly led by Bengalis which then accounted for a quarter of India's film output The movement emphasized social realism Early examples include Dardi K. Lal 1946, Khwaja Ahmad Abbas, Nisha Nagar 1946, Chetan Anand, Nagarik 1952, Ritwik Ghatak and Du Biga Zaman 1953, Bimal Roy, laying the foundations for Indian neorealism and the Indian New Wave, the Apu Trilogy 1955 to 1959, Satyajit Ray won major prizes at all the major international film festivals and firmly established the parallel cinema movement. Pather Panchali 1955, the first part of the trilogy, marked Ray's entry in Indian cinema. The trilogy's influence on world cinema can be felt in the youthful coming-of-age dramas that flooded art houses since the mid-50s, which owe a tremendous debt to the Apu trilogy. Cinematographer Sabrata Mitra, who debuted in the trilogy, had his own important influence on cinematography globally. One of his most important techniques was bounce lighting, to recreate the effect of daylight on sets. He pioneered the technique while filming Aparahito 1956, the second part of the trilogy. Ray pioneered other effects such as the photo-negative flashbacks and X-ray digressions in Pratidwandi 1972. .During the 1960s, Indira Gandhi's intervention during her reign as the Information and Broadcasting Minister of India supported production of off-beat cinematic by FFC. Commercial Hindi cinema began thriving, including acclaimed films Piyasa and Kagas K. Fool Guru Dutt Awara and Shri 420 5, Raj Kapoor. These films expressed social themes mainly dealing with working class urban life in India. Awara presented the city as both a nightmare and a dream, while Piyasa critiqued the unreality of city life. Epic film Mother India, 1957, Mehboob Khan, a remake of his earlier Orat, 1940, was the first Indian film to be nominated for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. Mother India defined the conventions of Hindi cinema for decades. It spawned a new genre of dacoit films. 
Gunja Jumna 1961, Dilip Kumar was a dacoit crime drama about two brothers on opposite sides of the law, a theme that became common in Indian films in the 1970s. Madhumati 1958, Bimal Roy popularized the theme of reincarnation in Western popular culture. Dilip Kumar Muhammad Yusuf Khan debuted in the 1940s and rose to fame in the 1950s and was one of the biggest Indian movie stars. He was a pioneer of method acting, predating Hollywood method actors such as Marlon Brando. Much like Brando's influence on new Hollywood actors, Kumar inspired Indian actors, including Amitabh Bachchan, Nasiruddin Shah, Shah Rukh Khan and Nawazuddin Siddiqui. Nisha Nagar won the Palme d'Or at Cannes, putting Indian films in competition for the Palme d'Or for nearly every year in the 1950s and early 1960s, with many winning major prizes. Ray won the Golden Lion at the Venice Film Festival for Aparahito 1956 and the Golden Bear and two Silver Bears for Best Director at the Berlin International Film Festival. The films of screenwriter Kwaja Ahmad Abbas were nominated for the Palme d'Or three times, Nisha Nagar won, with nominations for Awara and Pardisi 1957. Ray's contemporaries Gautic and Dutt were overlooked in their own lifetimes, but generated international recognition in the 1980s and 1990s. Ray is regarded as one of the greatest auteurs of 20th century cinema, with Dutt and Gothic. In 1992, the Sight and Sound Critics poll ranked Ray at number 7 in its list of top 10 directors of all time, while Dutt ranked number 73 in the 2002 Sight and Sound poll. Multiple films from this era are included among the greatest films of all time in various critics and directors' polls. Multiple Ray films appeared in the Sight and Sound Critics Poll, including the Apu Trilogy ranked number 4 in 1992 if votes are combined, Jalsagar ranked number 27 in 1992, Charalada ranked number 41 in 1992 and Aranyar Din Ratri ranked number 81 in 1982. The 2002 Sight and Sound Critics and Directors Poll also included the Dutt films Piazza and Kagas K. Fool, both tied at number 160, Gothic's films Meg Daka Terra, ranked number 231, and Komal Gandhar, ranked number 346, and Raj Kapoor's Awara, Vijay Bhatt's Baiju Bora, Mehboob Khan's Mother India, and K. Asif's Mughal e Azam, all tied at number 346. In 1998, the critics Poll conducted by the Asian film magazine Cinemaya included the Apu trilogy, ranked number one if votes are combined. Ray S. Charalata and Jalsagar, both tied at number eleven, and Gothic S. Subarnarika, also tied at number eleven. South Indian cinema saw the production works based on the epic Mahabharata, such as Maya Bazaar, listed by Ibn Live. S. 2013 poll is the greatest Indian film of all time. Savaji Gainasan became India's first actor to receive an international award when he won the Best Actor Award at the Afro-Asian Film Festival in 1960 and was awarded the title of Chevalier in the Legion of Honor by the French government in 1995. Tamil cinema is influenced by Dravidian politics, with prominent film personalities C. N. Anadurai, M. G. Ramachandran, M. Karanadi and Jayalalitha becoming chief ministers of Tamil Nadu. Topic. Contemporary Indian cinema 1970s -present. Topic. Realistic parallel cinema continued throughout the 1970s, practiced in many Indian film cultures. The FFC's art film orientation came under criticism during a Committee on Public Undertakings investigation in 1976, which accused the body of not doing enough to encourage commercial cinema. Hindi commercial cinema continued with films such as Aradhana, 1969, Satya Juta, 1970, Hadi Mir Sathi, 1971, Anand, 1971, Kadi Patang, 1971, Amar Prem, 1972, Dushman, 1972, and Dog. 1970. Topic. Salim Javed Topic. By the early 1970s, Hindi cinema was experiencing thematic stagnation, dominated by musical romance films. The arrival of screenwriter duo Salim Javed, consisting of Salim Khan and Javed Actor, revitalized the industry. They established the genre of gritty, violent, Bombay underworld crime films, with films such as Zanjir and Diwar 1975. 
They reinterpreted the rural themes of Mother India and Gunja Jumna in an urban context reflecting 1970s India, channeling the growing discontent and disillusionment among the masses, unprecedented growth of slums and urban poverty, corruption and crime, as well as anti-establishment themes. This resulted in their creation of the ''Angry Young Man'' personified by Amitabh Bachchan, who reinterpreted Kumar performance in Gunja Jumna, and gave a voice to the urban poor. By the mid 1970s, crime action films like Zanjir and Cholet solidified Bachchan's position as a lead actor. The devotional classic J. Santoshi Ma was made on a shoestring budget and became a box office success and a cult classic. Another important film was Diwar, Yash Chopra. This crime film pitted a policeman against his brother, a gang leader based on the real-life smuggler Haji Mastin, portrayed by Butchin. Danny Boyle described it as, "...absolutely key to Indian cinema." Bollywood was named in the 70s, when the conventions of commercial Bollywood films were established. Key to this was Nasir Hussain and Salim Javid's creation of the masala film genre, which combines elements of action, comedy, romance, drama, melodrama and musical. Another Hussain, Salim Javid concoction, Yadan Ki Bharat 1973, was identified as the first masala film in the first, quintessentially, Bollywood, film. Salim Javid wrote more successful masala films in the 1970s and 1980s. Masala films made Bachchan the biggest Bollywood movie star of the period. Another landmark was Amar Akbar Anthony 1977, Manmohan Desai. Desai further expanded the genre in the 1970s and 1980s. Salim Javid was highly influential in South Indian cinema. In addition to writing two Kannada films, many of their Bollywood films had remakes produced in other regions, including Tamil, Telugu and Malayalam cinema. While the Bollywood directors and producers held the rights to their films in northern India, Salim Javid retained the rights in South India, where they sold remake rights, usually for around 1 lakh rupees equivalent to 27 lakh rupees or $38,000 in 2017 each, for films such as Zanjir, Yadan Ki Bharat and Don. Several of these remakes became breakthroughs for Regina Kanth, who portrayed Bachchan's role for several Tamil remakes. South Indian industries Topic. Kannada film Samskara Patabharama Reddy, pioneered the parallel cinema movement in South Indian cinema. The film won Bronze Leopard at the Locarno International Film Festival. Telugu film Sankarabaranam dealt with the revival of Indian classical music and won the prize of the public at the 1981 Buzansan Film Festival. Tamil language films appeared at multiple film festivals. Kannadal Muthamidal, Ratnam, Vayal, Vasanthabalan, and Peruthiviran. Kanshivaram, Amir Sultan, premiered at the Toronto International Film Festival. Tamil films were submitted by India for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language on eight occasions. Nayakan Kamal Hassan was included in Time Magazine's All Time 100 Best Movies list. In 1991, Marupakam directed by K.S. Sethu Madhavan, became the first Tamil film to win the National Film Award for Best Feature Film. The feat was repeated by Kanshivaram in 2007. Malayalam cinema experienced its own golden age in the 1980s and early 1990s. Acclaimed Malayalam filmmakers' industry included Adore Gopalakrishnan, G. Aravindan, T. V. Chandran, and Shaji N. Karun. Gopalakrishnan is often considered to be Ray. S. Spiritual Air. He directed some of his most acclaimed films during this period, including Elipothium which won the Sutherland Trophy at the London Film Festival, as well as Mathalukal which won major prizes at the Venice Film Festival. Karun's debut film Paravi won the Camera d. Or at the 1989 Cannes Film Festival, while his second film Swaham 1994 was in competition for the Palme d'Or at the 1994 event. Commercial Malayalam cinema began gaining popularity with the action films of Jayan, a popular stunt actor who died while filming a helicopter stunt. 
Sridevi is widely considered as the first female superstar of Bollywood cinema due to her pan-Indian appeal and a rare actor who had an equally successful career in the major Indian film industries, Hindi, Tamil and Telugu. She's also the only movie star in history of Bollywood to star in the top 10 highest grocers of the year throughout her active period 1983 to 1997. Topic: New Bollywood Topic. Commercial Hindi cinema grew in the 1980s, with films such as Ek Duya K. Liye Himatwala Tofa Nam Mr. India and Tazab But by the late 1980s, Hindi cinema experienced a period of stagnation, with a decline in box office turnout, due to increasing violence, decline in musical melodic quality, and rise in video piracy, leading to middle-class family audiences abandoning theaters. The turning point came with Kayamit Say Kayamit Talk directed by Mansoor Khan, written and produced by his father Nasir Hussain, and starring his cousin Amir Khan with Juhi Chawla. Its blend of youthfulness, wholesome entertainment, emotional quotients and strong melodies lured family audiences back to the big screen. It set a new template for Bollywood musical romance films that defined Hindi cinema in the 1990s. Commercial Hindi cinema grew in the 1990s, with the release of Chalbaz 1989, Chandni 1989, Main Pyar Kia 1989, Sajan 1991, Kalnayak 1993, Dare 1993, Hum Apka Hain Kaun. 1994, Dilwale Dulhania La Jayange 1995, Dil Te Pagal Hai 1997, Pyar Kia Toh Darna Kya 1998, and Kuch Kuch Hoda Hai 1998. Cult classic Bandit Queen 1994, Shikar Kapur received international recognition and controversy. In the late 1990s, parallel cinema began a resurgence in Hindi cinema, largely due to the critical and commercial success of crime film Satya 1998 and Vastav. These films launched a genre known as Mumbai Noir, urban films reflecting social problems there. Since the 1990s, the three biggest Bollywood movie stars have been the three Khans Amir Khan, Shah Rukh Khan, and Salman Khan. Combined, they starred in the top ten highest grossing Bollywood films. The three Khans have had successful careers since the late 1980s, and have dominated the Indian box office since the 1990s. Shah Rukh Khan was the most successful for most of the 1990s and 2000s, while Amir Khan has been the most successful since the late 2000s. According to Forbes, Amir Khan is arguably the world's biggest movie star as of 2017, due to his immense popularity in India and China. Other Hindi stars include Anil Kapoor, Madhuri Dixit, and Kajol. Hater 2014, Vishal Bardwaj, the third installment of the Indian Shakespearean trilogy after Makbul 2003 and Omkara 2006, won the People's Choice Award at the 9th Rome Film Festival in the Mondogenir category making it the first Indian film to achieve this honour. Amir Khan Productions has been credited for redefining and modernising the Masala film which originated from his uncle Nasir Hussain. S. Yadan Ki Bharat, which he first appeared in, with Amir Khan's own distinct brand of socially conscious cinema in the early 21st century. His films blur the distinction between commercial masala films and realistic parallel cinema, combining the entertainment and production values of the former with the believable narratives and strong messages of the latter, earning both commercial success and critical acclaim, in India and overseas. <laughs> Global discourse. Topic. During colonial rule Indians bought film equipment from Europe. The British funded wartime propaganda films during World War II, some of which showed the Indian army pitted against the Axis powers, specifically the Empire of Japan, which had managed to infiltrate India. One such story was Burma Rani, which depicted civilian resistance to Japanese occupation by British and Indian forces in Myanmar. Pre-independence businessmen such as J. F. Maiden and Abdulali Isufali traded in global cinema. Early Indian films made early inroads into the Soviet Union, Middle East, Southeast Asia, and China. Mainstream Indian movie stars gained international fame across Asia and Eastern Europe. 
For example, Indian films were more popular in the Soviet Union than Hollywood films and occasionally domestic Soviet films. From 1954 to 1991, 206 Indian films were sent to the Soviet Union, drawing higher average audience figures than domestic Soviet productions. Films such as Awara and Disco Dancer drew more than 60 million viewers. Films such as Awara, Three Idiots and Dangle, were one of the 20 highest grossing films in China. Indian films frequently appeared in international fora and film festivals. This allowed parallel Bengali filmmakers to achieve worldwide fame. Tamil films gained viewers in Southeast Asia and other parts of the world. Chandraleka and Mutu were dubbed into Japanese and grossed a record $1.6 million in 1998. In 2010, Enthiran grossed a record $4 million in North America. Many Asian and South Asian countries increasingly found Indian cinema as more suited to their sensibilities than Western cinema. Jigna Desai holds that by the 21st century, Indian cinema had become deterritorialized, spreading to parts of the world where Indian expatriators were present in significant numbers, and had become an alternative to other international cinema. Indian cinema more recently began influencing Western musical films, and played a particularly instrumental role in the revival of the genre in the Western world. Ray work had a worldwide impact, with filmmakers such as Martin Scorsese, James Ivory, Abbas Kiarostami, François Truffaut, Carlos Sora, Isao Takahata and Gregory Nava citing his influence, and others such as Akira Kurosawa praising his work. The youthful coming-of-age dramas that have flooded art houses since the mid-50s owe a tremendous debt to the Apu trilogy. Since the 1980s, overlooked Indian filmmakers such as Ghatak and Dutt posthumously gained international acclaim. Baz Luhrmann stated that his successful musical film Moulin Rouge was directly inspired by Bollywood musicals. That film S success renewed interest in the then moribund Western musical genre, subsequently fueling a renaissance. Danny Boyle's Oscar-winning film Slumdog Millionaire 2008 was directly inspired by Indian films, and is considered to be an homage to Hindi commercial cinema. Indian cinema has been recognized repeatedly at the Academy Awards. Indian films Mother India 1957, Salam Bombay 1988, and Lagan 2001, were nominated for the Academy Award for Best Foreign Language Film. Indian Oscar winners include Banu Athaya costume designer, Ray filmmaker, A. R. Rahman music composer, Rezal Pukuti sound editor, and Gulzar lyricist, Katalango Leon and Rahul Thakur Sci Tech Award. Topic: <laughs> Influences. Topic: Modi Gokul Singh and Wymal Dasanayaki identify six major influences that have shaped Indian popular cinema. The ancient epics of Mahabharata and Ramayana influenced the narratives of Indian cinema. Examples of this influence include the techniques of a side story, back story, and story within a story. Indian popular films often have plots that branch into sub plots. Such narrative dispersals can clearly be seen in the 1993 films Kalnayak and Gardish. Ancient Sanskrit drama, with its emphasis on spectacle, combined music, dance and gesture combined, to create a vibrant artistic unit with dance and mime being central to the dramatic experience. Sanskrit dramas were known as natya, derived from the root word nrit dance, featuring spectacular dance dramas. The rasa method of performance, dating to ancient times, is one of the fundamental features that differentiate Indian from Western cinema. In the rasa method, empathetic. Emotions are conveyed by the performer and thus felt by the audience. In contrast to the Western Stanislavsky method where the actor must become a living, breathing embodiment of a character, rather than simply conveying emotion. The Rasa method is apparent in the performances of Hindi actors such as Bachchan and Shah Rukh Khan and in Hindi films such as Rang de Basanti and Ray's works. Traditional folk theatre became popular around the 10th century with the decline of Sanskrit theatre. These regional traditions include the Yatra of West Bengal, the Ramlila of Uttar Pradesh, Yakshagana of Karnataka, Chindu Natakam of Andhra Pradesh and the Tarakuttu of Tamil Nadu. Parsi theatre blended realism and fantasy, music and dance, narrative and spectacle, earthy dialogue and ingenuity of stage presentation, integrating them into a dramatic melodrama. 
The Parsi plays contained crude humor, melodious songs and music, sensationalism and dazzling stagecraft. Quote, These influences are clearly evident in Masala films such as Kuli and to an extent in more recent critically acclaimed films such as Rang de Basandi. Hollywood made popular musicals from the 1920s through the 1960s. Indian musical makers departed from their Hollywood counterparts in several ways. For example, the Hollywood musicals had as their plot the world of entertainment itself. Indian filmmakers, while enhancing the elements of fantasy so pervasive in Indian popular films, used song and music as a natural mode of articulation in a given situation in their films. There is a strong Indian tradition of narrating mythology, history, fairy stories and so on through song and dance." In addition, whereas Hollywood filmmakers strove to conceal the constructed nature of their work so that the realistic narrative was wholly dominant, Indian filmmakers made no attempt to conceal the fact that what was shown on the screen was a creation, an illusion, a fiction. However, they demonstrated how this creation intersected with people's day-to-day -day lives in complex and interesting ways." Western musical television, particularly MTV, had an increasing influence in the 1990s, as can be seen in the pace, camera angles, dance sequences and music of recent Indian films. An early example of this approach was Bombay 1995, Mani Ratnam, Sharmistha Guptu and Baumak identify Indo-Persian, Islamicate culture as another major influence. In the early 20th century, Urdu was the lingua franca of popular performances across northern India, established in performance art traditions such as Nash dancing, Urdu poetry and Parsi theatre. Urdu and related Hindi dialects were the most widely understood across northern India, thus Hindi Urdu became the standardized language of early Indian talkies. One Thousand and One Nights, Arabian Nights had a strong influence on Parsi theatre, which adapted Persianate adventure romances into films, and on early Bombay cinema where Arabian Nights cinema became a popular genre. Statman identifies foreign influences on commercial Bollywood masala films, New Hollywood, Hong Kong martial arts cinema and Italian exploitation films, like mainstream Indian popular cinema, Indian parallel cinema was influenced by a combination of Indian theatre and Indian literature such as Bengali literature and Urdu poetry, but differs when it comes to foreign influences, where it is influenced more by European cinema particularly Italian neorealism and French poetic realism than by Hollywood. Ray cited Vittorio De Sica's Bicycle Thieves and Jean Renoir's The River on which he assisted, as influences on his debut film Pather Panchali Multilinguals <inaudible> 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 Some Indian films are known as multilinguals, filmed in similar but non-identical versions in different languages. This was done in the 1930s. According to Rajadyaksha and Willmen in the Encyclopedia of Indian Cinema 1994, in its most precise form, a multilingual is a bilingual or a trilingual that was the kind of film made in the 1930s in the studio era, when different but identical takes were made of every shot in different languages, often with different leading stars but identical technical crew and music. Rajadyaksha and Willmen note that in seeking to construct their encyclopedia, they often found it extremely difficult to distinguish multilinguals in this original sense from dubbed versions, remakes, reissues or, in some cases, the same film listed with different titles, presented as separate versions in different languages. It will take years of scholarly work to establish definitive data in this respect. Topic. Regional industries Topic. Films are made in many cities and regions in India including Andhra Pradesh and Telangana, Assam, Bengal, Bihar, Gujarat, Haryana, Jammu, Kashmir, Jharkhand, Karnataka, Konkan, Goa, Kerala, Maharashtra, Manipur, Odisha, Punjab, Rajasthan, Tamil Nadu and Uttarakhand. Topic. Assam 
The Assamese language film industry traces its origin to the works of revolutionary visionary Rupkanwar Jyotiprasad Argawala, who was a distinguished poet, playwright, composer and freedom fighter. He was instrumental in the production of the first Assamese film Joymati in 1935, under the banner of Kritrakala Movitone. Due to the lack of trained technicians, Jayota Prasad, while making his maiden film, had to shoulder the added responsibilities as the screenwriter, producer, director, choreographer, editor, set and costume designer, lyricist and music director. The film, completed with a budget of 60,000 rupees, was released on 10 March 1935. The picture failed miserably. Like many early films, the negatives and prints of Joy Mati are missing. Some effort has been made privately by Altaf Mazid to restore and subtitle what is left of the prince. Despite the significant financial loss from Joymati, a second picture, Indramalati, was released in 1939. The 21st century has produced Bollywood-style Assamese movies. <inaudible> <inaudible> Bengali cinema the Bengali language cinematic tradition of Taligunj, located in West Bengal, hosted masters such as Ray, Gotik, and Senator. Recent Bengali films that have captured national attention include Choker Bali, Rituparno Ghosh. Bengal has produced science fiction and issue films. Bengali cinema dates to the 1890s, when the first bioscopes were shown in theatres in Calcutta. Within five years, Hiralal Sen set up the Royal Bioscope Company, producing scenes from the stage productions of a number of popular shows at the Star Theatre, Calcutta, Minerva Theatre and Classic Theatre. Following a long gap after Sen, Durendra Nath Ganguly known as DG, established Indo-British Film Co., the first Bengali-owned production company, in 1918. The first Bengali feature film Bilwamangal was produced in 1919 under the banner of Maiden Theatre. By Lat Farat 1921 was the IBFC's first production. Maiden Theatre's production of Jamai Shashthi was the first Bengali talkie. In 1932, the name Tollywood was coined for the Bengali film industry because Taligunj rhymes with Hollywood and because it was then the centre of the Indian film industry. The parallel cinema movement began in Bengal. Bengali stalwarts such as Ray, Rinal Sen, Ghatak and others earned international acclaim. Actors including Uttam Kumar and Somitra Chatterjee led the Bengali film industry. Other Bengali art film directors include Mir Shani, Buddhadeb Dasgupta, Gautam Ghose, Sandeep Ray and Aparna Sen. <laughs> Brabhasha cinema Braj Basha language films present bridge culture mainly to rural people, predominant in the nebulous Braj region centered around Mathura, Agra, Aligarh and Hathras in western Uttar Pradesh and Bharatpur and Dolpur in Rajasthan. It is the predominant language in the central stretch of the Ganges Yamuna Dobe in Uttar Pradesh. The first bridge Basha movie India was Bridge Bhumi 1982, Shiv Kumar, which was a success throughout the country. Later Bridge Basha cinema saw the production of films like Jamuna Kinnair, Bridge Kau Burju, Bhakta Surtas and Jesus. The culture of Bridge is presented in Krishna Tere Desh Main Hindi, Kana Ki Braj Bhumi, Bridge Ki Radha Dwarika K Shyam and Bar 9. <laughs> Bhojpuri Bhojpuri language films predominantly cater to residents of western Bihar and eastern Uttar Pradesh and also have a large audience in Delhi and Mumbai due to migration of Bhojpuri speakers to these cities. Besides India, markets for these films developed in other Bhojpuri speaking countries of the West Indies, Oceania, and South America. Bhojpuri film history begins with Ganga Maya Toha Piyari Chadhaibo, Mother Ganges, I Will Offer You a Yellow Sari, 1962, Kundan Kumar. Throughout the following decades, few films were produced. Films such as Bidasiya Foreigner, 1963, SN Tripathi and Ganga Ganges, 1965, Kumar were profitable and popular, but in general Bhojpuri films were not common in the 1960s and 1970s. The industry experienced a revival in 2001 with the hit Sayyan Hamar My Sweetheart, Mohan Prasad, which shot Ravi Kisan to superstardom. 
This was followed by several other successes, including Pandit Ji Batai Na Bia Kab Hoi, Priest, Tell Me When I Will Marry, 2005, Prasad, and Sisora Bada Paisa Wala, My Father in Law, The Rich Guy, 2005, both did much better business in Uttar Pradesh and Bihar than mainstream Bollywood hits, and both earned more than ten times their production costs. Although smaller than other Indian film industries, these successes increased Bhojpuri cinema's visibility, leading to an awards show and a trade magazine, Bhojpuri City. Chhattisgarh Chollywood was born in 1965 with the first Chhattisgarhi film Kahi Deba Sandesh in black and white, Manu Nayak. Naidu wrote the lyrics for the film, and two songs were sung by Muhammad Rafi. That film and Gar Dwar 1971, Niranjan Tiwari bombed. No Chollywood movie was produced for nearly 30 years thereafter. <laughs> English Deepa Mehta, Anant Balani, Homi Adahaniya, Vijay Singh, Virendra Lalit and Suni Taraporevala have garnered recognition in Indian English cinema. Gujarat <inaudible> 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 Before the arrival of Takis, several silent films were closely related to Gujarati culture. Many film directors, producers and actors associated with silent films were Gujarati and Parsi. Twenty leading film company and studios were owned by Gujaratis between 1913 and 1931. They were mostly located in Mumbai. At least 44 major Gujarati directors worked during this period. Gujarati cinema dates to 9 April 1932, when the first Gujarati film, Narsin Mehta, was released. Leeludi Dardi 1968 was the first color Gujarati film. After flourishing through the 1960s to 1980s, the industry declined although it later revived. More than 1,000 films were released. Gujarati cinema ranges from mythology to history and from social to political. Gujarati films originally targeted a rural audience, but after its revival catered to an urban audience. <laughs> Hindi Bollywood. The Hindi language film industry of Bombay also known as Bollywood is the largest and most powerful branch. Hindi cinema explored issues of caste and culture in films such as Ekhut Kanya 1936 and Sujata 1959. International visibility came to the industry with Raj Kapoor's Awara and later in Shakti Samantha's Aradhana. Hindi cinema grew during the 1990s with the release of as many as 215 films annually. Many actors signed contracts for simultaneous work in three to four films. Institutions such as the Industrial Development Bank of India financed Hindi films. Magazines such as Filmfare, Stardust, and Cine Blitz became popular. In Hindi cinema, audiences participate by clapping, singing, and reciting familiar dialogue. Art film directors include Kal, Kumar Shahani, Keaton Mehta, Gavind Nihalani, Shyam Benegal, Mira Nair, Nagesh Kakunor, Sadir Mishra, and Nandita Das. <laughs> Kannada Sandalwood. The Kannada film industry, also referred to as Sandalwood, is based in Bengaluru and caters mostly to Karnataka. Gubi Virana was an Indian theatre director and artist and an awardee of the Padma Shri Award conferred by the President of India. He was one of the pioneers and most prolific contributors to Kannada theatre. Kannada actor Rajkumar began working with Virana and later became an important actor. Virana founded Karnataka Gubi Productions. He produced Sadarame Raja Chandrasakar, in which he acted in the lead role. He then produced Subhadra and Jivana Nataka 1942. He took the lead role in Hemaredi Malama 1945. Karnataka Gubi Productions was later called Karnataka Films Limited, and is credited with starting the career of Rajkumar when it offered him the lead role in his debut film Badara Kanapa. He produced silent movies including his love affair, Rafal Algai. Virana was the lead, accompanied by his wife, Jayama. Virana produced Badara Kanapa HLN Simha which received the first certificate of merit. 
however, the first President's Silver Medal for Best Feature Film in Kannada was awarded at the Fifth National Film Awards Ceremony to Primata Puthri R. Najendra Rao. Vishnuvardhan and Rajkumar were eminent actors along with Ambarish, Anant Nag, Shankar Nag, Prabhakar, Adaya Kumar, Kalyan Kumar, Gangadhar, Ravikandran, Gurish Karnad, Prakash Raj, Sharan Raj, B. Jayama, Shivaraj Kumar, Leelavathi, Kalpana, Bharati, Jayanti, Pandari Bai, Arathi, Jamala, Tara, Umashri and Ramya. Kannada directors include H. L. N. Simha, R. Najendra Rao, B. R. Panthulu, M. S. Sathyu, Puttana Kanagal, G. V. Iyer, Karnad, T. S. Nagabharana Siddhalingaya, B. V. Karanth, A. K. Patabi, T. V. Singh Thakur, Y. R. Swami, M. R. Vital, Sundar Rao Nadkarni, P. S. Morthy, S. K. A. Chari, Hunsor Krishnamurti, Prema Karanth, Rajendra Singh Babu, N. Lakshminarayan, Shankar Nag, Gurish Kasaravali, Umesh Kulkarni, and Suresh Heblakar. Other noted film personalities in Kannada are, Bhargava, G.K. Venkatesh, Vijaya Bhaskar, Rajan Najendra, Geethapriya, Hamsaleka, R. N. Jayagopal, M. Ranga Rao and Yogaraj Bhatt. Kannada cinema contributed to Indian parallel cinema. Influential Kannada films in this genre include Samskara, Chomana Dudi B. V. Karanth, Tabarana Keita, Vamshavruksha, Kadu Kador, Hamsajith, Budayana Maga Ayyu, Accident, Manasa Sarovara, Bara, Chaitgu Chinte, Galaj, Ijodu, Kanishwara Rama, Gadishrada, Tabarana Keita, Main, Kroria, Thayi Saheba, Bandana, Muthina Hara, Bankar Margaya, Dwipa, Manudi, Betada Jiva, Mysore Malaj, and Chinari Mudtha. The Government Film and Television Institute, Bangalore, formerly a part of SJ. Polytechnic is believed to be the first government institute in India to start technical film courses. Konkani Konkani language films are mainly produced in Goa. It is one of India's smallest film regions, producing four films in 2009. Konkani language is spoken mainly in the states of Goa, Maharashtra and Karnataka and to a smaller extent in Kerala. The first full-length Konkani film was Mogacho Ando Jerry Braganza, under the banner of Etika Pictures. The film's release date, 24 April, is celebrated as Konkani Film Day. Karnataka is the hub of many Konkani-speaking people. An immense body of Konkani literature and art as a resource for filmmakers. Kazar Marriage, 2009, Richard Castellino and Yujvadu Shedding New Light on Old Age Issues, Kasaragad Chinna are major releases. The pioneering Mangalorean Konkani film is Mog Ani Maipas. <laughs> Malayalam the Malayalam film industry, India's fourth largest, is based in Kochi. Malayalam films are known for bridging the gap between parallel cinema and mainstream cinema by portraying thought-provoking social issues with technical flair and low budgets. Filmmakers include Gopalakrishnan, Karun, Aravindan, K. G. George, Padmarajan, Sathyan Anthikad, Chandran and Barathon. The first full-length Malayalam feature was Vagathakumaran J. C. Daniel. This movie is credited as the first Indian social drama feature film. Daniel is considered the father of the Malayalam film industry. Balan 1938, S. Natani was the first Malayalam. Taki. Malayalam films were mainly produced by Tamil producers until 1947, when the first major film studio, Adaya Studio, opened in Kerala. Nilakail 1954 captured national interest by winning the President's Silver Medal. Scripted by the well-known Malayalam novelist, Yurub P. Bhaskaran and Ramu Karyat is often considered the first authentic Malayali film. Newspaper Boy 1955, made by a group of students, was the first neo-realistic film offering. Chemin 1965, Ramu Karyat based on a story by Thakazi Sivasankara Pillai, became the first South Indian film to win the National Film Award for Best Feature Film, the first neorealistic film Newspaper Boy 1955p. 
Ramdas, the first cinemascope film Thacholi Ambu 1978 Navadaya Apachan, the first 70mm film film Padayatam 1982 Jijo Panus, the first 3D film My Dear Kuddy Chathan 1984 Jijo Panus, the first digital film Moonnamathoral 2006 V. K. Prakash, the first smartphone film Jalachiyam 2010 Sathish Kalathal, the first 8K resolution film Villain 2017B. Unakrishnan of India were made in Malayalam. The period from the late 1980s to early 1990s is regarded as the golden age of Malayalam cinema with the emergence of actors Mohanlal, Mahmudi, Suresh Gopi, Jayaram, Bharat Gopi, Murali, Thilakan and Metamudi Venue. The major actors who emerged after the Golden Age include Dilip, Jayajuria, Fahad Fasil, Nivan Pali, Prithviraj Sukumaran, Dulkar Salman, Kunchako Boban and Asif Ali actor, and Manju Warrior. Notable filmmakers such as I. V. Sassi, Barathon, Padmarajan, K. G. George, Sathyan Anthikad, Priyadarshan, A. K. Lohithadas, Sadiq Lal, T. K. Rajiv Kumar and Srinivasan. Art film directors include Puttana Kanagal, Dor Bhagavan, Siddhalingaya in Kannada, Gopalakrishnan, Karun and TV. Chandran. K. R. Narayanan National Institute of Visual Science and Arts is an autonomous institute established by the government of Kerala at Thakumthala in Kattiyam district in Kerala state as a training cum research centre in film, audiovisual technology. Medii. Maidee Cinema is a small industry in the state of Manipur. This region's debut was a full-length black and white film Matamji Manipur Maidee Cinema started in the 1980s. Langlan Thadoy was Maidee Cinema's first full-length color film. Maidee Cinema gained momentum following a ban on the screening of Hindi films in entertainment houses in Manipur. Screening of Hindi movies came to a halt despite reiterated appeals made by successive chief ministers. 80 to 100 movies are made each year. Cinemas opened in Imphal after World War II. The first full-length Maidee movie was made in 1972, followed by a boom in 2002. Imagining them Arabam Siam Sharma won the Grand Prix in the 1992 Nantes International Film Festival. A nationwide French telecast of Imagine Ningtham expanded the audience. After watching Ashanu Arabam Siam Sharma, Westerners began research on Lai Haraoba and Manipur's rich folklore. Maipak, Son of Manipur 1971, was the first Maidee documentary film. Among the notable Maidee films are Fijiji Mani, Lipakle and Palepfam. Marathi. Topic. Marathi films are produced in the Marathi language in Maharashtra. It is one of the oldest efforts in Indian cinema. Dadasaheb Phalke made the first indigenous silent film Raja Harish Chandra with a Marathi crew, which is considered by IFFI and NIFD to be part of Marathi cinema. The first Marathi Taki, Ayodhya Raja Prabhat films. Schwaz 2004 and Harishandracha Factory 2009 became India's official Oscar entries. Today the industry is based in Mumbai, but it began in Kolhapur and then Pune. Some of the more notable films are Sang T. Ika, Ek Gaon Bara Bangadi, Panjara, Sinhazan, Pathlog, J. Re J., Samana, Santwahate Krishnamai, San Tukaram and Shyamchi Ai. Marathi films feature the work of actors including Durga Kote, V. Shantaram, Lalita Pawar, Nanda, Sri Ram Lagu, Ramesh Deo, Seema Deo, Nana Paitkar, Smita Padal, Sadashiv Amraparkar, Sonali Kulkarni, Sonali Bendra, Urmila Matankar, Rima Lagu, Padmini Kolhapur, Ashok Saraf, Laxmikant Bird and Sachin Ketakar. Nagpuri <laughs> Nagpuri films produced in the Nagpuri language in Jharkhand. The first Nagpuri feature film was Sona Kar Nagpur which was produced and directed by Donajay Nath Tiwari. Gorkha Gorkha cinema consists of Nepali language films produced by Nepali-speaking Indians. 
Topic: Odia Hollywood. Topic: The Odia language film industry operates in Bhubaneswar and Cuttack. The first Odia Taki Sita Bibaha 1936 came from Mohan Sundar Deb Goswami. Sriram Panda, Prashant Ananda, Uttam Mohanty and Bijay Mohanty started the Oriya film industry by finding an audience and a fresh presentation. The first color film, Gappa Hele B. Seda although a story, it is true, was made by Nagan Ray and photographed by Pune Film Institute trained cinematographer Surendra Sahu. The best year for Odia cinema was 1984 when Maya Mariga Mohapatra and Dare Alua were showcased in Indian Panorama and Maya Mariga was invited to Critics Week at Cannes. The film received the Best Third World Film Award at Mannheim Film Festival, Jury Award at Hawaii and was shown at the London Film Festival. Punjab Hollywood. K.D. Mera made the first Punjabi film, Sheila also known as Pin D. Kuti Rustic Girl. Baby Noor Jahan was introduced as an actress and singer in this film. Sheila was made in Calcutta and released in Lahore, it was a hit across the province. Its success led many more producers to make Punjabi films. As of 2009, Punjabi cinema had produced between 900 and 1,000 movies. The average number of releases per year in the 1970s was 9, in the 1980s, 8, and in the 1990s, 6. In the 2000s Punjabi cinema revived with more releases every year featuring bigger budgets. Mani Parmar made the first 3D Punjabi film, Pechan 3D 2013. Topic. Sindh Topic. The Sindhi film industry produces movies at intervals. The first was Abana 1958, which was a success throughout the country. Sindhi cinema then produced some Bollywood-style films such as Hal Ta Baji Haloon, Pariwari, Dil Dihe Dil Warren Khe, Ho Jamalo, Pyar Kare Dis, Feel the Power of Love and the Awakening. Numerous Sindhi have contributed in Bollywood, including G. P. Sippi, Ramesh Sippi, Nikhil Advani, Tarun Mansakani, Ritesh Sadwani and Asrani. Sherdukpen Director Sanj Dorji Thongdak introduced the first Sherdukpen language film Crossing Bridges 2014. Sherdukpen is native to the northeastern state of Arunachal Pradesh. Tamil Kaliwood. Chennai once served as a base for all South Indian films it is the second largest industry in India after Bollywood and is South India's largest production centre, the first South Indian Taki film Kalidas H. M. Reddy was shot in Tamil and Telugu. Savaji Ganesan became India's first actor to receive an international award when he won Best Actor at the Afro-Asian Film Festival in 1960 and the title of Chevalier in the Legion of Honour by the French government in 1995. Tamil cinema is influenced by Dravidian politics, led by film personalities such as C. N. Anadurai, M. G. Ramachandran, M. Karanadi and Jayalalitha who became chief ministers of Tamil Nadu. K. B. Sundarumbal was the first film personality to enter a state legislature in India. She was also the first to command a salary of 1 lakh rupees. Tamil films are distributed to various parts of Asia, Southern Africa, Northern America, Europe and Oceania. The industry inspired Tamil film making in Sri Lanka, Malaysia, Singapore and Canada. Rajnikant is referred to as superstar and holds matinee idol status in South India. The 26 crore rupees $3.6 million he earned for Savaji 2007, made him the highest paid actor in Asia after Jackie Chan, Kamal Hassan debuted in Kalathar Kanama, for which he won the President's Gold Medal for Best Child Actor. Hassan is tied with Mahmoodi and Bachchan for the Most Best Actor National Film Awards, with three. With seven submissions, Kamal Hassan has starred in the highest number of Academy Award submissions. Critically acclaimed composers such as Ilay Araja and A. R. Rahman work in Tamil cinema. Art film directors include Santosh Sivan. Telugu Tollywood 
India's greatest number of theatres are located in Andhra Pradesh, Telangana and feature films in Telugu. As of 2018, it is the third largest film industry in India after Bollywood and Kollywood in terms of box office collections and footfalls, and in terms of number of theatrical releases. Ramaji Film City, which holds the Guinness World Record for the world's largest film production facility, is located in Hyderabad. The Prasad IMAX in Hyderabad is the world's largest 3D IMAX screen and is the world's most viewed screen. The highest grossing Telugu movie is Bahubali 2, The Conclusion. Raghupathi Venkaya Naidu is considered the father of Telugu cinema. The annual Raghupathi Venkaya Award was incorporated into the Nandi Awards to recognize contributions to the industry. Chitter V. Nagaya was the first multilingual Indian film actor, thespian, composer, director, producer, writer, and playback singer. Nagaya made significant contributions to Telugu cinema, and starred in some 200 productions. Regarded as one of the finest Indian method actors, he was Telugu's first matinee idol. His forte was intense characters, often immersing himself in the character's traits and mannerisms. He was the first from South India to be honoured with the Padma Shri. He became known as India's Paul Muni. S. V. Ranga Rao was one of the first Indian actors to receive the international award at the Indonesian Film Festival, held in Jakarta, for Narthanasala in 1963. N. T. Rama Rao was one of the most successful Telugu actors of his time. B. Narsingh Rao, K. N. T. Sastri and Patabarama Reddy garnered international recognition for their pioneering work in parallel cinema. Adirthi Subha Rao won ten National Film Awards, Telugu Cinema's highest individual awards, for his directorial work. N. T. Rama Rao was an Indian actor, producer, director, editor and politician who earned three National Film Awards. He served as Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh for seven years over three terms. Banumati Ramakrishna was a multilingual Indian film actress, director, music director, singer, producer, author and songwriter. Widely known as the first female superstar of Telugu cinema, she is also known for her work in Tamil cinema. Gantasala Venkateswara Rao was an Indian film, composer, playback singer known for his works predominantly in South Indian cinema. S. P. Balasubramanyam holds the Guinness World Record of having sung the most number of songs for any male playback singer, the majority were in Telugu, S. V. Ranga Rao, N. T. Rama Rao, Kanta Rao, Banumati Ramakrishna, Savitri, Gamadi and Saban Babu received the Rashtrapati Award for Best Performance in a Leading Role. Sharada, Archana, Vijayashanti, Rahini, and P. L. Narayana received the National Film Award for the Best Performance in Acting. Chiranjeevi was listed among the men who changed the face of the Indian cinema by Ibn Live India. Tulu 30 to 40 films are made annually in Tulu. K. N. Taylor and Machendra Nath Pandeshwar are Tulu icons. Usually Tulu films are released in theatres across the Kanara region of Karnataka. Enna Thangadi, was the first, released in 1971. The critically acclaimed Suda won the award for Best Indian Film at the Ajin Film Festival held at New Delhi in 2006. Oriardori Asal, released in 2011, is the most successful. Kodi Chennaya Vishu Kumar was the first history-based. The first color film was Karyani Katandi Kandani Aurore Bhimarao. <laughs> Genres and styles Masala films Topic. Masala is a style of Indian cinema that mix genres in one work, especially in Bollywood, West Bengal and South India. For example, one film can portray action, comedy, drama, romance and melodrama. These films tend to be musicals, with songs filmed in picturesque locations. Plots for such movies may seem illogical and improbable to unfamiliar viewers. The genre is named after masala, a mixture of spices in Indian cuisine. Topic. Parallel cinema Topic. 
Parallel cinema, also known as art cinema or the Indian New Wave, is known for its realism and naturalism, addressing the socio-political climate. This movement is distinct from mainstream Bollywood cinema and began around the same time as the French and Japanese New Waves. The movement began in Bengal led by Ray, Sen and Ghatak and then gained prominence in the regions. The movement was launched by Roy. S. Du Biga Zaman 1953, which was both a commercial and critical success, winning the international prize at the 1954 Cannes Film Festival. Ray's films include the Apu trilogy. Its three films won major prizes at the Cannes, Berlin, and Venice film festivals, and are frequently listed among the greatest films of all time. Other neo realist filmmakers were Shyam Benegal, Karun, Gopalakrishnan, and Kasaravali. Topic. Production organizations Topic. More than 1,000 production organizations operate in the Indian film industry, but few are successful. AVM Productions is the oldest surviving studio in India. Other major production houses include Yash Raj Films, Red Chilies Entertainment, Dharma Productions, Eros International, Ajay Devgn Films, Balaji Motion Pictures, UTV Motion Pictures, Raj Kamal Films International, Vunderbar Studios, Indian Movies Limited and Geetha Arts. Music <laughs> 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 Music is a substantial revenue generator, with music rights alone accounting for 4-5% of net revenues. The major film music companies are Saragama and Sony Music. Film music accounts for 48% of net music sales. A typical film may feature 5-6 choreographed songs. The demands of a multicultural, increasingly globalized Indian audience led to a mixing of local and international musical traditions. Local dance and music remain a recurring theme in India and followed the Indian diaspora. Playback singers such as Muhammad Rafi, Kishore Kumar, Lata Mangeshkar, S. P. Balasubramaniam and Yasudas drew crowds to film music stage shows. In the 21st century interaction increased between Indian artists and others. <laughs> film locations in filmmaking, a location is any place where acting and dialogue are recorded. Sites where filming without dialogue takes place is termed a second unit photography site. Filmmakers often choose to shoot on location because they believe that greater realism can be achieved in a real place. Location shooting is often motivated by budget considerations. The most popular locations are the main cities for each regional industry. Other locations include Manali and Shimla in Himachal Pradesh, Srinagar and Ladakh in Jammu and Kashmir, Lucknow, Agra and Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh, Odi in Tamil Nadu, Amritsar in Punjab, Darjeeling in West Bengal, Udaipur, Jodhpur, Jaisalmer and Jaipur in Rajasthan, Delhi, Kerala and Goa. Topic. Awards Topic. Dadasaheb Phalk is known as the father of Indian cinema. The Dadasaheb Phalk Award, for lifetime contribution to cinema, was instituted in his honour by the Government of India in 1969, and is the country's most prestigious and coveted film award. <laughs> Institutes Government-run and private institutes provide formal education in various aspects of filmmaking. Some of the prominent ones include See also References Further reading Topic. Topic. External links Topic. 